and welcome back to MyBibleRegistration.com. I'm joined with Sister Sandy, Sister Gina, Sister Cherokee, and you two. We're on lesson number 12 already. And we're talking about my what? Well, today we're going to talk about my high places. Wow, that's an interesting topic, my high places. Real quickly, what is a high place? If you're a student of the Bible and you go back in the Old Testament, high places where, is where the people would go like up into the mountainous regions and they would go up there in these high places and they, they would do sacrifices, they would worship. And not only did they uh, worship God, but they also worship the pagan gods. So God was in these high places and the, and the pagan gods were in these high places too. And that's what made God a jealous God. So when you think of a high place, think of like a mountain, a hill, something like that. Uh, uh, remember Moses? Where did Moses go to talk to God? He had to go to the top of the what? Mountain. Where did mm -hmm. Jesus go when he spoke to the people? When he wanted to be alone, he went to his place, high place. It was a what? Mountain. So we got high places today. And now I don't know about y'all. I ain't climbing no mountain. I ain't climbing Mount Diablo. I ain't climbing Mount Everest. But I will go to my high place, which is my Bible, which is the word of God. That's my high place right there. All right, then. With that being said, that's going to be the key word today in this lesson, high place. Let's start this lesson off. And we're going to have Sister Gina take us over to 2 Samuel 22, verse 34. He maketh my hind feet and setteth me upon my high place. Mm -hmm. So we have, this is David. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's like his song. It's, it's, it's a, it is a song basically, but he's talking about how God takes him and mm -hmm. brings him up and lifts him up to his yes. high place. Yes. So uh, it's a beautiful picture because his high place is God's bringing him up to safety it's uh -huh. it's, a, it's a it's a it's a place of god and, and his yeah. safety so yes. that's what i see here David's exactly high place is god that's right and then also too when god lifted david up to the kingship that's a high place of what authority isn't it mm -hmm. so david if he knew anything about high places david would know thank you gina for that all right quickly let's go to sandy jeremiah 17 3 sandy take us there okay O oh, my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil and thy high places for sin throughout all the borders. This mm -hmm. is Jeremiah speaking here. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's similar, like what Gina just was talking about in the high mountains in the field. You can go up there and worship idols. You can also go up there to worship, worship the Lord and um, and it's saying that they, they gave their substance and all their treasures to the spoil and the high places for sin. So this is talking about I uh, probably up there in the mountains worshiping idols. And there you go. The That's, for it. Sin. That's it. Yeah. That's it. See, mm -hmm. see how they had a high place. They use their high place for the wrong purpose, didn't they? Wrong purpose. They up there committing sin. That's what they did with those pagan uh, uh, gods. They went to the high place and God saw this and God had high places too because David knew about them, but they mm -hmm. went to the wrong high places. So we got to be careful. We got to be careful and know what's what because the devil can make his high place look so appealing and you think it's from God mm -hmm. and it ain't. Uh, you at the wrong high place. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. You be up there high with the devil and, he'll, and, and, and God will bring you down low so you can now go up to the right high place. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right then. Woo, let's take a look at the last scripture. Uh, Cherokee, take us over to Leviticus 26, 30. And I will destroy your high places mm -hmm. and cut down cut down your sun Im images and cast your dead bodies upon the bodies of your idols and my soul shall uh, abhor ab ab you. Abhor? Abhor you? Mm -hmm. Abhor you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, so he's it, cutting down those idols. Uh, uh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> you saw that, didn't you? Yeah, he's cutting them down. Yeah. yeah. And where were wow. they? Uh, where were these? Uh, where were these idols, Cherokee? Where were they at? Uh, there was at the high what? High place. The high. The high. Was it the high place? The, the high places, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So there it is wow. again. 
we're seeing that the Jews really did have these high places. They really did go and serve these pagan gods. Mm. And it was personal. Remember what I said? Remember the word my is a personal pronoun. Yep. So you can be personal for the devil or you can have a personal for God. In this wow. case, they had a my high place for the devil. Wow. Mm. Woo. Be mm. careful what you attach yep. yourself to. Be Come careful. On who mm -hmm. you attach yourself to, to these high places. All right, then I'm Minister mm -hmm. Love. I hate to end on that note. This was so good, but we are running out of time. Stay tuned with us. We got another great lesson coming up next week. You don't want to miss these, my what lesson series for this mm -hmm. year. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Cherokee. And thank you to audience for this time with you. God bless you all. See you next week. Take care.